My name is Aisha and I was born in Pakistan. When I was a teenager, my father told me that I had the opportunity to go to the UK and start a new life if I married his friend's son. I was so excited my head was spinning full of dreams about my new life in the UK. They sorted out my visa and I started counting down the days until I left Pakistan. I'd never been on an aeroplane before. When I arrived in my new home, I was greeted so warmly. My head was spinning. Every day was an adventure. We had a couple of visits from a woman who worked for the government to make sure that I was settled. Three months went by until things started to change. They called me names. They took away my phone. I felt totally worthless. I didn't have my own room anymore, just a blanket. The floor was cold and hard. My husband and his family demanded that I cooked, cleaned and cared for his elderly relatives and younger nephews. I was exhausted. Sometimes I said no, but they would kick me and told me I was their property. I wasn't allowed to eat with the rest of the family. They gave me some leftovers once a day. The hunger pains would keep me up at night. My body was frail and exhausted. This was not the life that I had imagined. I dreamed about life back at home. I didn't want to bring shame on my family. I was told I'd be sent back to Pakistan if I didn't do what they said. My husband often reminded me I was lucky to have a roof over my head. I was scared I'd be arrested if I ran away. After all, my husband controlled my visa. That's what they all told me. One of my husband's cousins came to our house one afternoon and offered me some food. My mother-in-law was not happy. Shortly after, a woman with a name badge came to see us. My husband was very angry. He spoke on behalf of me, but she took me out of the house and listened to my story. I could finally breathe. She helped me move into a new house. I had my own room again. I was safe and free. I've not seen my husband and his family since. I was told that what they did to me was illegal. They controlled me, my sleeping, my eating and my visa. Things are better for me now. Made friends with other women who've experienced the same. So I'm quite hopeful for my future.